Hey, what's going on, guys? Ravi here from Ira FX, along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So, in this video, we're going to be learning to make this deep voice effect inside Adobe Premiere Pro, and also to generate this high pitch voice or a chippy voice effect in a very simple way. So, without any delay, let's get started. Alright, so I have an audio file in my project. Let me drag this to the right side panel so that a sequence is created. So, this is a test voice and um, this is what it has got. Let me play this. This is a test voice that we'll be using to demonstrate the pitch shift effect. So as you heard, we'll be using the effect called Pitch Shifter. So I'll go to the FX panel and type in Pitch Shifter. So I'll drag this Pitch Shifter effect from the audio effects and drag this onto my audio layer just like this. Once that this is done, I'll go to the FX controls and you can see that this Pitch Shifter effect is added and I'll go to the custom setup and edit this out. So you can see that we have semitones and sense here. We can tweak either one of the values here so that we get the chippy voice or a deep voice. So I'll drag this slider to a value closer to eight or 10. And if I start playing the audio, this is how it's gonna hear like. This is a test voice that we'll be using to demonstrate the pitch shift effect so you can change this to high precision and also tweak the value of sense that you have here um, to generate this um, high pitch voice effect so I'll play this again this is a test voice that we'll be using to demonstrate the pitch shift effect okay so now we also have a preset available and I'll change this to angry gerbil or gerbil. I'm not sure what it's called. So it, it has the value set to 12. And if I start this playing. This is a test voice that we'll be using to demonstrate the pitch shift effect. So this is how it sounds like. And in order to generate the a deep voice effect you'll have to change the value in such a way that it is around negative 7 or 6 I'll set this to default and change this to negative 6 and if I start playing this this is how it sounds this is a test voice that we'll be using to demonstrate the pitch shift effect so you can see that this is sounding like a movie trailer voice with, uh, you know, some deep, deep bass effect applied to it. This is a test voice that we'll be using to demonstrate the pitch shift effect. Alright, so you have um, a preset called the Dark Lord. And uh, if I start playing this, this would sound like a devil voice. And you can always tweak the values around here. This is a test voice that we'll be using to demonstrate the pitch shift effect. So uh, one more quick thing that you can do is you can right click on your audio and you can edit this clip in Adobe Audition. But that is all together for another tutorial wherein I'll go in in-depth details about Adobe Audition and different effects there. I hope you liked this video and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on Instagram at VFXGuyRavi. Mr. Zebo, would you like to add something? Subscribe for more tutorials. Alright so see you guys next time with another tutorial.